dedicates his behaviours to love, will, after he have laughed at such shallow follies in others, become the argument of his own scorn by falling in love. And such a man is Claudio. I have known when there was no music with him but the drum and the fife, and now would he rather hear the tabor and the pipe. I have known when he would have walked ten mile afoot to see a good armour, and now will lie ten nights awake carving the fashion of a new doublet. He was wont to speak plain and to the purpose, like an honest man and a soldier. And now is he turned orthographer. His words are a very fantastical banquet, just so many strange dishes. May I be so converted and see with these eyes? I cannot tell. I think not. I will not be sworn. But love may transform me to an oyster. But I'll take my oath on't, till he have made an oyster of me, he shall never make me such a fool. One woman is fair, yet I am well. Another wise, yet I am well. Another virtuous, yet I am well. But till all virtues come in one woman, one woman shall not come in my grace. Rich she shall be, that's certain. Wise, or are none. Virtuous, or I'll never cheat on her. Fair, or I'll never look on her. Mild, or come not near me. Noble, or not I for an angel. A good discourse, an excellent musician, and her hair shall be of what colour it please God. Well, I wonder that you will still be talking, Senor Benedict. Nobody marks you. What, my dear lady, disdain are you yet living? Is it possible disdain should die when she has such meat food to feed it as Senor Benedict? Courtesy Benedict. itself must convert to disdain if you come in her presence. Then is courtesy a turncoat? For it is certain I am loved of all ladies. <laughs> Only you accepted. And I would I could find in my heart that I am not a hard heart. For truly I love none. Dear happiness to women. They would else have been troubled by a pernicious suitor. I thank God in my cold blood I am of your humour for that. I'd rather hear my dog bark at a crow than a man swear he loves me. God keep your ladyship still in that line so some gentleman or other shall sleep a predestined scratched face. Oh, and scratching could not make it worse. And for such a face is yours were. Well, you are a rare parrot teacher. Well, a beard on my tongue is better than a beast of yours. Now would my horse at the speed of your tongue and so good a continuer. But keep your way in what I have done. Oh, you always end on a jade's trick. I know you of old. Thank you. 